Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Well, BJP Party President Amit Shah has reiterated his demand for one nation, one election. A delegation of BJP MPs handed over a letter from the party president to the law commission seeking simultaneous polls. Calling for amendments to the constitution, Amit Shah has said in his letter, and I quote, there is no relation between Lok Sabha and assembly elections. Voters vote on different issues in both polls. Therefore, we must have faith and trust the voters, end of quote. Many political parties, including the Congress, are against this move. In fact, Congress leader Abhishek Manu Singhvi has called the move anti-democratic and an example of authoritarian and dictatorship. In fact, on April 17 this year, BJP's own Rajya Sabha MP GVL Narsi Marao told CNBC TV 18, and I quote, it doesn't appear feasible in the short term. I think 2019 elections are hardly a year away. This will require major constitutional amendments. This is possible only if there is political consensus, end of quote. So what has changed and is it really practical for uh, the government to consider the possibility and will the election commission take it forward? Joining us now is S5 Qureshi, former CEC. Mr. Qureshi, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. It is not a new demand, sir. Uh, this call was made by the Prime Minister himself earlier this year. Uh, it's a matter that has been examined by the Law Commission as well. Uh, now the BJP party president making a fresh pitch for one nation, one poll. But do you believe that it is feasible or practical? Because as I pointed out, GVL Narsimha Rao, who's now a Rajya Sabha MP of the BJP, had categorically in April said that the party had dropped the idea because it was no longer feasible as it required constitutional amendments and there wasn't enough time. Correct. Actually, the, you're right. The debate has been going on for two years. And why it has gone on for two years? Because there was no immediate quick fix for it. No immediate solution. And uh, that was realized by the government. And which is why the Prime Minister has been talking only about the need for debate. I think this latest uh, representation to Law Commission also talks of uh, organizing a debate only. They, that it needs to be debated. It has need to be discussed. And to that extent, it's a good idea. Debate is uh, healthy. Debate is good. And let us consider. And whether it's a, it's a good idea or bad idea, it will come out. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer. There are pluses. There are minuses. Logistically, it's a very good, convenient thing. For election commission, that's the easiest thing to do because the voter is the same, the polling mm -hmm. booth, the polling staff, security, everything is the same, most convenient. But then there are wider constitutional issues, federal issues, and that's why it calls for a debate. Uh, it certainly calls for a debate, Mr. Qureshi, and as you pointed out, there are arguments both for and against this. But the question that I'm, I'm trying to uh, ask is a different one, sir. Do you believe that it is possible at all uh, for this to be taken forward in 2019? Well, 2019 obviously seems out of the question because there's uh, had very little time. And uh, although only way the uh, general election can be held simultaneously with the three major states going to poll is by dissolving the Lok Sabha and holding the election in uh, November, December, November. Otherwise, postponing mm. an election mm. is just not constitutionally possible. So that, uh, these states will go to poll anyway on time. They cannot be postponed at all because that is a constitutional mandate. We cannot delay it even by a day. And these uh, state elections are due, uh, I think, by December or later than in January. Hmm. Right. Uh, you're saying so that, you know, that will not be a possibility. But just uh, for uh, for the lay person who may be watching this, uh, in terms of the kind of constitutional amendments that may be required uh, for us to be able to move forward on this idea of one nation, one poll. And it was also s suggested that perhaps the election commission was in favor of the idea of one year, one election. What are your thoughts on that? Well, that is actually a dilution of the original proposal. The original proposal was to hold three year elections at the same time, which means Panchayat, Vidhan Sabha, and Lok Sabha. Um, later on, uh, Panchayat election, nobody is talking about, which knocks out 30 lakh uh, elected representatives. Now, what are we left with? Uh, 4,120 MLAs and 543 MPs. And then also the uh, Niti Hayog and the parliamentary committee, they said, okay, if one in five years is not possible, let us do two in five years. That is further dilution. Now, the third proposal is a further dilution that, uh, okay, 
if you uh, let us have at least in one year or goal, that is also doable, but that will also require a constitutional amendment because either you dissolve the assemblies earlier, uh, which is not entirely possible because dissolution of assemblies for no good reason without breakdown of constitution, constitution machinery is not possible. And then how do you delay it? One is you advance, uh, because you see what happens, and typically three, four restraints will go to poll, say, in March. Another three, four will go in uh, October and November. Now, either you delay or you advance. Now, both will require uh, amendment. Hmm. Both will require changes. So, uh, the procedure is cumbersome. My point is, if you have already diluted the proposal so much, then what is the fuss about? Then what moral authority is left in the proposal anyway? Hmm. Okay, let, let me also bring in uh, uh, former CEC, Mr. Krishnamurti, also here with us. Mr. Krishnamurti, we were just in conversation with uh, Mr. S.Y. Qureshi, uh, your colleague, sir, who's uh, discussing the possibility of uh, this one nation, one poll possibility in 2019, if at all. Your thoughts, sir, because it's not a new idea. It's been discussed and debated threadbare. The proposal has been taken to the Law Commission. It's been debated by the Parliamentary Standing Committee. Today, uh, we thought that the BJP had given up on the idea, but today the BJP party president uh, is reiterating the call for one nation, one poll. Is it at all possible, sir, that we could see this being taken forward uh, for the 2019 yes. elections? I do not think in 2019 you can have it unless the constitution is amended. Because you are not going to have yeah, uh, an election for only one time. It is going to be a forever if you want to have... Um, uh, an election for the future, you have to amend the constitution. Because right, so you're saying that you can't make the change just for one election. There have to be constitutional unless, amendments uh, that will have to be changed. Uh, uh, could you take until, us through what will be the constitutional amendments that will be required, Mr. Qureshi? Uh, Mr. Krishnamurti? Unless and until you provide for the fixed tenure of the House, even if you hold simultaneous election at one point of time, it doesn't assure you of the future one nation, one poll. So unless the constitution is amended to provide a fixed tenure of the House, I do not think it is possible to hold simultaneous election in uh, 2019. Okay, you're ruling out that possibility. We were talking about uh, the pros and cons. Uh, on the pros side, of course, uh, uh, you know, the government making it clear, the Prime Minister and Mr. Amit Shah in his letter today also making it clear that it will bring down costs, uh, logistics will be eased, uh, people will not spend so much time focusing on going from one election to another election, that uh, officials on the ground will be able to actually focus on delivering uh, as opposed to focusing on elections. But on the cons side, uh, whether this puts a question mark on the federal structure if this will sort of uh, push back the agenda for states and the issues related to state elections. What are your thoughts on whether this at all should be taken forward in a meaningful way? And uh, no. the idea of the election commission to propose uh, uh, a one year, one election instead, what do you make of that? Now, first question is, are we having a federal state or not? There may be federal features in our constitution. It is a yeah, quasi-federal state. Now, in the last few years, so many houses were, were uh, dissolved and the president's rule was imposed or governor's rule was imposed. Was it a federal, federal feature? Mm. So the constitution has got some federal features, some unitary features. So you cannot say that federalism will be spoiled you know, because there are so many uh, simultaneous elections held in parliament and some states mm. where, for example, Orissa, Tamil Nadu, different parties have come to power. Kerala it has come to power. So I do not know whether there is any merit in the statement that the federal spirit will be affected okay. by having one time, one, uh, one nation, one poll. But the point is, the crucial issue is that there must be an amendment providing for fixed tenure of the house. Unless and until you have that, mm. it will be very difficult to implement it. Okay. Uh, without that amendment, it will be very difficult to implement it. Uh, quick final thoughts, Mr. Qureshi, I'll come to you. Uh, uh, you know, what is it that you would like to see from here on? I would imagine uh, what we've seen today from the party president uh, of the BJP, Mr. Amit Shah, uh, reiterating this call, perhaps, I don't know, but perhaps this could be something that the Prime Minister uh, brings up in his Independence Day address as well. Uh, would you expect that?
we've lost that line with Mr. Qureshi. Uh, uh, Mr. Krishnamurti, my question to you, what would you expect as next steps now that uh, once again this issue seems to be on the front burner? Well, I suppose it's a subject worth debating. I'm sure people will be debating and unless you find a solution to the problem, you cannot say that you can go ahead and implement it. So you mm. find a solution. Well, there are advantages in having simultaneous elections. There are also certain demerits in that. But net benefit is you save expenditure. You, we, there is so much of hatred and violence at every election. You reduce that. The scope for, uh, you know, uh, saving time, energy and violence is very much there. So if you are bringing about electoral reforms, Straight away, there may not be any need for simultaneous election. You are neither bringing about ele electoral reforms, mm. nor are you cutting down on the expenditure and uh, bringing yeah. about some kind of a, you know, um, peace and order in the elections. Mm. So you have to find some solution. I suppose these discussions will take place and some solution will be found. All right, Mr. Krishnamurti, Mr. Qureshi, we'll have to leave it there. Appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. The former chief election commissioner is there uh, uh, weighing in on the debate that is uh, now back on the front burner, courtesy BJP party president Amit Shah's letter today suggesting that India move towards one nation.